Well, the Polish people appear to be fed up, fed up with globalist policies, fed up with NATO, fed up with the Ukrainianization of Poland, and they voted overwhelmingly, yes, a record number of votes for the new newest member of the European Member of Parliament, and that man is Gregory Brown. Now, you might remember in international headlines when he grabbed a fire extinguisher and he blew out a menorah that was set ablaze, and of course international headlines about this and wow you would have thought wow maybe there's a, a backlash against him no the polish people said we want this guy we voted overwhelmingly to put this guy as the european member of parliament in poland and gregory is kind enough to join us today on the show on the heels of his big victory in poland uh, nice to see you gregory welcome to the show hello thank, thank you, you for so having me my pleasure now i should point out i'm using the the Western pronunciation of, of your first name. So to my Polish viewers, I apologize, but I've try, I tried for like 10 minutes. <laughs> to, to for say. your Polish viewers, my name is Grzegorz Brown. I, I said, I'm going to, and you said, you were kind enough to say, just say Gregory. It's the uh, Gregory. So Gre Gregory, welcome to the show. So uh, the dust is now settled. You've had some time to maybe take in these numbers, but just looking over this, it's it's pretty remarkable. Um, uh, let's see, 150, 115,000 votes in this district. That is a record. So to all of the people who called you a far-right Polish politician who doused the Hanukkah candles, can't believe that this 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 anti-Semitic member of the Polish government would be would be elected. What do you say to those individuals? Well, uh, uh, the result is not bad. In Poland, uh, it happens to be the best uh, between my party's uh, candidates' results. Uh, as to so-called anti-Semitism, I would prefer to call it Judeo-realism uh, in opposition to Judeo-idealism. I simply refer to facts facts, uh, historical facts, political facts, uh, uh, theological facts, uh, and I simply uh, cannot, uh, cannot accept celebrations uh, of uh, racist, uh, racist uh, um, tribal cult uh, in the middle of our of our society, of our political system. That's why I reacted. Uh, and my compatriots, obviously not everybody who lives in Poland, because there are uh, probably less and uh, less uh, Poles who want to remain Poles, more and more of those who would prefer to become uh, Euro co-host citizens, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but many of them uh, take my action and take my my uh, reasons uh, for theirs, uh, and uh, <laughs> in the course of this uh, election campaign, uh, I signed probably thousands thousands of fire extinguishers uh, the <laughs> trick is the trick is that uh, this was not my idea this is not a pr product of my of my staff uh, nobody would imagine this kind of uh, of uh, political action simply uh, my my fellow citizens my my fellow polish People come to me and want their fire extinguishers uh, signed uh, by me, which I uh, take for for a very clear uh, sign of of our mutual understanding. We want Poland to be Polish, uh, not uh, uh, not uh, to become some kind of uh, uh, Soviet or Euro-Soviet Republic not uh, uh, the next uh, American state, uh, not uh, 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 Polish Ukrainian uh, uh, Commonwealth, which is uh, some people's idea, uh, crazy because totally unrealistic and uh, based on false history. Uh, we want Poland 
to remain Poland uh, and we want our country to be a country of uh, free, free uh, and secure people. Security is the key uh, word because uh, uh, what comes uh, to us uh, from the East and from the West uh, questions uh, not only our rights uh, to remain Polish, uh, to remain uh, normal people, uh, living peacefully, earning money, having families, having children, having rights to raise our children as we, uh, as, we as our fathers, our grandfathers used to. Uh, when I say grandfathers, you might think that I am uh, uh, the kind of politician who would uh, uh, like to to go back to some uh, uh, history that that never was. No, I'm I'm very uh, I'm I I would like to think of myself as uh, uh, as uh, totally uh, devoted to to future, to to bright future of my nation, and this cannot be achieved without peace. And this is the question, the problem number one, to, uh, to preserve peace in Central Europe, in Europe, in the world. Because um, uh, we were used several times, uh, we were used as a, as a bumper uh, <laughs> by the, by the em empires, uh, uh, not only in the 20th, but but in the 90th uh, and previous centuries, we were used as as some kind of uh, trigger uh, to to be to be used to start uh, the, the revolution and world war. And uh, this is the case of 1939, obviously, when uh, we were we were pushed. Uh, to to the front, <laughs> to the first line, uh, front line uh, of that world war uh, by the British, by Americans. Obviously, uh, these were uh, war criminals, uh, comrades uh, Hitler and Stalin, uh, who who divided Poland, who who uh, who destroyed our our state. But uh, the inspiration was uh, from London and, uh, uh, let's say, authorization was from Washington. And we have documents, we have, uh, uh, well, uh, some other time you might uh, want to, to, to hear more about historical facts. Uh, for now, I, I uh, politically, I stress I don't want any repetitions of this of this history. I don't want my nation to be used uh, uh, as a trigger uh, of uh, of some revolution, uh, some some new world order revolution, which will not uh, prevail without starting World War Three uh, uh, yeah. on our territory. Well, and it seems that you're maybe one of a few voices who is standing up for peace because it appears that the world is marching towards World War III and even your politicians, your leaders in Poland are saying we need to prepare troops, troops going into Ukraine, uh, troops to march against Russia. If Russia makes any headway, further headway in the east, then we need to be prepared to send troops into Ukraine. It appears the Polish people don't want that. It appears the Polish people are saying enough is enough, but they don't appear to be listening to the Polish people. You have massive NATO bases in Poland. Poland appears to be used right now as sort of a NATO staging ground for World War III, and you're looking to stop unfortunately, that. So. Unfortunately, uh, this is the case uh, here. Uh, Polish people uh, simply do not realize uh, what the war might uh, bring upon us. Uh, and their lead is totally treacherous. Uh, it's totally, totally uh, taken over by uh, different, uh, different uh, uh, ambassadors <laughs> who mm. actually rule the country. Uh, and this is very funny because they tend to interfere in, in sometimes very stupid uh, questions uh, like like media 
like propaganda. They obviously they like to teach us democracy. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. uh, you said you said about war preparations. Uh, I want to stress. Uh, I would be the first to uh, to call. Uh, to arms, I would be the first to call for uh, raising uh, our ar army's abilities, uh, 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 producing and and buying uh, weapons that we we need to preserve peace here. But I would be the first to say no uh, to sending Polish troops abroad. And this is the problem here, because uh, I used to be a member of uh, the same Polish Parliament uh, Committee uh, for uh, Army and Defense uh, uh, purposes. Uh, well, they expelled me after the um, December Hanukkah, uh, uh, let's say, uh, situation. Uh, so they expelled me uh, from, the, from the committee. But my interest in uh, defense uh, and uh, national security uh, is uh, is uh, uh, well uh, is genuine, right. and uh, I I would like to serve uh, my country, my my nation by uh, giving all the best I I could as a politician uh, to my soldiers to my army. The problem is that this army is not shaped to, currently, it is not shaped to defend uh, our national security. It is uh, shaped uh, to play the role of, uh, uh, I tend to repeat myself, of a trigger. Of a trigger, of a, uh, you you would probably find uh, several more, uh, more words that would uh, uh, that would point out this problem. Uh, I understand that Washington, London, they uh, obviously don't want to send their troops <laughs> uh, right. uh, further further east. Uh, they want to use us as they use Ukrainians. Uh, remember, half a million of Ukrainian people, soldiers, mostly soldiers, died. Uh, add, you, you might add uh, um, millions uh, of those who escaped, uh, of those who, who uh, uh, did everything not to join the army, and they, they are simply running out of resources. They are running out of, uh, of people, and they, and they are looking at Polish, uh, uh, Polish uh, meat, uh, as uh, as uh, like useful prey, as a as a as a very handy uh, replacement, and mm. and this is what I would like to to oppose. I signed uh, an appeal for peace uh, uh, already in uh, 20, uh, uh, two, 20, 22, uh, in summer. I was uh, obviously, you might imagine, called Russian agent and uh, and uh, uh, traitor by the mainstream media. But but there is life outside the mainstream media and my campaign <laughs> for the European Parliament uh, is a proof because I had uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm very proud of it I had exactly my my uh, air airing time uh, television radio all put together my time was exactly zero zero minutes wow. zero seconds on air wow. uh, uh, in the in the mainstream uh, media, uh, I was never uh, asked for for any interviews. I was only sometimes quoted to depict my my dark uh, silhouette uh, uh, as a, as a bad guy, probably uh, the worst. Uh, and uh, this is this is uh, uh, the best result of this election is is the proof that there is life outside main street yeah uh, it's great i mean it's like the in, in, you know independent media um we we hear from our polish viewers all the time 
that they say it's so sad that they can't get information inside of Poland about what's happening in Poland. They have to turn to alternative sources like like our show or, you know, other sources. And it's unbelievable. So you had zero airtime on the mainstream zero. media. But that speaks exactly to zero. that speaks to the intelligence of the Polish people. They're done being well, brainwashed. Uh, done uh, being brainwashed uh, by the mainstream media there, right? What what we are facing here is that great anti-Polish, anti-European, anti-human coalition uh, that I could uh, describe as I could describe it as as COVID uh, Euro Kohos War Hanukkah coalition, <laughs> uh, and this is uh, left to right, right to left. Everybody agrees. Uh, they are fighting each other uh, uh, very, very intensely uh, sometimes. But in these uh, uh, crucial points, crucial matters, they, there is no difference. There is no difference between the uh, the left from the left and the left from the right. <laughs> right. Well, it's <laughs> the same thing in the United States. You know, it's the same thing uh, in the United States. We have more more things in common. And we don't want illegal immigration. We don't want our borders flooded from people from other countries. We don't want war. And yet the politicians appear to be ignoring them. So I want to ask you about the Ukrainian. So, so, uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe the element that you miss uh, is the counter coalition. Uh, uh, let's call it uh, the fire extinguisher coalition. <laughs> the really wide coalition of uh, of uh, good, uh, good, decent, uh, peaceful people who just want to work and and prosper. Uh, that's yeah. that's what I would recommend. Uh, uh, firemen of all nations uh, unite. Yeah, the fire extinguishers, they're going to be selling out of those all across the United States if uh, if that movement takes off. Um, and, I'm not uh, selling anything. I'm not, I'm not selling anything. This is this was not my stuff. This is uh, my people coming to me with their fire extinguishers. Uh, mind I love you. that. It's, it's totally <laughs> organic. I love that. I want to ask you, I'll get you out of here in a second, uh, Gregory, but I want to ask you about the stop Ukrainianization of Poland. Uh, we covered this a couple of months ago here on the show. Um, this movement to stop, what exactly? I mean, we saw millions of Ukrainian refugees coming across the border. We've seen the child trafficking problems at the border between Poland and Ukraine. Uh, we've seen all sorts of issues, obviously, as, as other in individuals in Poland to talk about walking down different cities in Poland. It, you can't even hear Polish, the Polish language anymore. You'll hear the Ukrainian language. Um, so why did you decide to push this stop Ukrainianization of Poland? And uh, it seems like the Polish people are with you on this. Well, I hope uh, I hope uh, more and more people understand what I wanted to say uh, two years ago, uh, starting this uh, this uh, campaign uh, with publication uh, of uh, some uh, statement, some political program. Uh, I just. Uh, I just uh, predicted the results. <laughs> uh, I just, uh, uh, with all my compassion and understanding of uh, uh, of uh, how uh, miserable the situation of uh, of war victims is, uh, I have, as a Polish Polish politician, I have to say always Poland first. Poland first, Polish people first, and I, I'm not. This is what I uh, try to to explain to my uh, fellow citizens. Uh, you're not becoming some bad guy, bad Christian, uh, uh, treacherous Polish uh, uh, when you say Poland first, Polish children first, and we uh, we spent uh, billions. Uh, of, uh, of our money uh, to to let's say um, to conservate uh, um, uh, to to preserve this social um, revolution 
social revolution uh, in Poland, and this is what I oppose. I, I'm see, I'm not, I'm not acting, and uh, and I'm not uh, uh, proposing anything based on uh, some kind of resentment uh, of uh, uh, of some uh, bad feelings. I have. I, I try not to not to uh, let bad feelings uh, 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 overwhelm my my existence. Uh, I simply cannot agree for spending Polish money for non-Polish purposes. This is easy. This is this is easy to understand. This should be easy. Right. But the government and uh, the parliament and the president uh, of Poland they. Uh, uh, seem to to be preoccupied with making everybody around happy with our money, with our money. Uh, and uh, uh, I uh, I com communicate with my voters, with uh, with my fellow citizens, uh, you know, just bringing uh, that uh, uh, that agenda, these facts uh, up. Uh, I'm. I'm telling uh, to to Polish people. Uh, do you know how many um, how many apartments uh, uh, you funded uh, for the Ukrainian people in Poland uh, last year? Uh, and they say no. And and then I bring up numbers, and this is this is shocking. This yeah. is shocking. Uh, not talking about uh, ammunition tanks, uh, uh, aeroplanes uh, uh, that uh, we sent to Ukraine, Polish police uh, could not uh, exercise uh, at shooting ranges uh, properly because the ammun ammunition was sent to Ukraine. Polish army uh, volunteers could not exercise with proper guns. Uh, they, uh, they exercise, this is, this is for real, some units uh, used to exercise with uh, sticks with sticks My because God. the guns went to, to Ukraine. Uh, to Ukraine. This wow. is what I oppose because I am for security, national security. I am for the army to be the best army of the continent of the world because Polish soldiers are and can be great. They only have lousy commanders and treacherous politicians using them uh, as uh, as uh, tokens, as, as uh, you know, pawns uh, at at this great uh, 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 chess chess board uh, that uh, late uh, Mister. Uh, Brzeziński described uh, years ago, and uh, I I don't accept the position of of some kind of pawn. I don't want to be a token in some in some uh, uh, British uh, or Russian casino. I don't want to be played. I want to be a, a partner, uh, but to be a partner, I have uh, to be totally, totally uh, devoted to my country's and my nation's uh, real interests. Well, there is a wave that has come to Europe, and I think it's riding on that si similar sentiment. Put our country first. Put Germany first. Put the Netherlands first. Put Poland first. Take care of the Polish people first. Um, we don't. We have a heart, but we need to put the Polish people first. We need to not be funding apartments exactly. for uh, refugees or illegal immigrants like in yeah. the United States. Exactly. We have American Americans sleeping on the streets, but illegal immigrants come across the border and they're given three meals and a free hotel room. It's uh, unbelievable. Gregory, um, congratulations on your victory. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations on uh, all uh, the fire extinguisher sales that uh, all across the all across the country, hopefully all across the world, uh, we can use this as a metaphor uh, to put out the craziness uh, right now. Uh, Gregory, congratulations! See, I, I like. I like the fire extinguisher. I used to be a, a film director, mostly documentary film director. So a part of myself is uh, uh, kind of, you know, uh, I, I still have some artistic interests and sentiments. So I, what I like about the fire extinguisher uh, is that it's, it's not heavy. It's not pompous. It's, uh, it's, it's even funny, you know, right. uh, it's, 
It, it does not uh, uh, offer danger. It, it offers peace. Yeah, peace. Peace, and it puts out fires. That's, that's what and we security. want right now. And I know. Security. Uh, it's not, apparently not in vogue right now to be anti-war, but we are on this show, and we appreciate we appreciate your anti-war stance. Hopefully, more sensible people like you will take power in Poland. Gregory, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on your victory, and uh, and all the best. Thank you so much. God bless.